What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Let's get right into this guys. Um, it's summertime. I think you might hear a little, I have a office in the back of the house, but, uh, my son's bedroom is right next to it. So you might hear a little anime. I think he's, I think that's anime I hear. He's an anime freak. Okay. Let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guys, just in case y'all could hear that. Let's see what's going on with the collective and the collective's person at this time in love. Toxic twin flame journey masquerading as true love, okay? Now, this is where that debate and that conversation comes up because, you know, the internet has glamorized the twin flame connection and, you know, this is not... Twin flame connections are extremely toxic at times, but a true twin flame, a true soulmate is never going to hurt you, right? Uh, a true love, a true soulmate is not going to hurt you, okay? So just because you met your twin flame doesn't mean that you have to stick with that twin flame, right? Even though everything in your body, you'll always love them unconditionally. There's an energy here where this is an extremely toxic twin flame journey. And it's masquerading as true love. Somebody is like um, attached to this energy and attached to this connection because of that thought in the back of their mind. Like, this is my twin flame. I love them unconditionally. I, you know what I'm saying? The spirit is like, it's extremely toxic. And so, just because you feel like you've met your twin flame or your other half does not mean you have to deal with the toxicity and the low vibrations. This isn't a true love situation. That love is deep, it's spiritual. But in this realm, in this free will world, you know, that love that they show is fake. It's a very fake love. Acting as a groupie because they feel that's all they deserve. Now, this person could be out fucking with multiple people. This person could have a bunch of people around them. This person could be in people's DMs, thirsty as hell, okay? It's time to walk away from this tainted love. You deserve better. Wow. Now, this card, this is a 140-card deck, but it's got the upper meanings and the, you know what I'm saying, it's a double-sided deck, double-meaning deck, okay? So, I hate it when it goes like this because at the end of the day, and I have to, you know, I'm just the messenger, right? There's this energy of there being this deep spiritual, this deep connection that you have with somebody but every time it comes to try to come to fruition on this planet, on this lifetime, it just does not work. It's like the universe is working against the two of you guys or something that was very gentle and calming in the beginning turned into something extremely toxic, right? But because of everything you in and the thought that this is your twin flame it's an energy where you can't detach yourself from it it's very difficult to detach yourself from this person but this person they're they're thirsty ass okay this could be a part of the toxicity is how thirsty they are how many people they sleep with how how they get around i'm hearing that song <laughs> I get around, round and round, round and round, I get around, okay? So this person probably done been passed around like a blunt, right? At a party on the side, on the corner with five people standing out there all, all trying to sell the same sack, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, this person been passed around like a whole motherfucking blunt. And then it's like, even though they know that you deserve way better and that you all those people that surround them doesn't compare to one of you they still feel like that's all they deserve i'm a fuck up oh i can never show love truly oh i always 
do this, I mess everything good up, play that victim role. And so now they're out here feeling like, okay, this is all they deserve. They're fucking with multiple people. But what they don't realize is that in the, in the same time while they're out fucking with other people, they're hurting you to a point where you're emotionally drained, saddened, heartbroken, hurt, right? And you know it. You know at the end of the day, look at the face. Look at look at how the, that chair is facing from that groupie energy, okay? Now, this could be somebody here that's telling you. That's, that's telling you, like, walk the fuck away. It's time to walk away. And because you deserve so much better, okay? That could be what, you know what I'm saying? But here is somebody here who... It's like spirit is saying, like, yeah, that's your twin flame. Yes, that could be the person that you feel this spiritual connection to. But at the same time, this isn't true love. This isn't a soulmate situation because they have been given the gift of free will. And they choose to use that free will in a very toxic, demeaning, hurtful, um, selfish way. And it's time to walk away. This love that you had for this person, um, it's been tainted. And this is what I'm saying. I feel an energy of, of a connection that was very calm, very soothing, very beautiful in the beginning. But it turned into a nightmare, right? It was like something that was just so beautiful that turned into a complete and utter nightmare. The Nine of Cups comes out and just falls off. Let's see what's at the bottom. Double dipping, sleeping with more than one person. Bottom of the deck, what you don't see, whether you know it or not. And with double dipping to me, I feel like this is somebody who is raw dogging multiple people. You know, that's just, or, you know, might be with one person this morning and then this other person tonight type energy. You see what I'm saying? Just disgusting and then look it says incoming call wife on there they care but they don't want you to know how much is also under that let me take one more they're returning and they change their mm -mm. okay because i gotta take the one under that <sighs> whoever this person is okay they're definitely double dipping. They might be shit with one person this morning, one person a day. This person does care about you very, very much. They're in love with you, but they don't want to let you know how much they're in love with you. And they're going to come back, right? They're going to come back into your energy and they're going to come back looking like this. Like all their chakras are balanced and they, they, that they've changed, right? And I was so happy to see that. But look what comes out underneath it. They are holding grudges and plotting revenge and retribution. So there's an energy where you might decide, like, you know, I love this person, but I deserve better. This love has been tainted, even though I know it's a true love, even though I love this person with all my heart. They have this groupy, thirsty ass energy, embarrassing energy, like embarrassing you. Especially if you live in like a like a small city, a small town, you know. Might even try to hit on somebody from your clique or like like, like you know, somebody that's close. Like it's just embarrassing, okay? And there's an energy of them not wanting to show you how much they care. But there's also an energy of anger. Like they're going to come back and they're going to like act like they've changed. But they're still double dipping. They're still sleeping with more than one person. And this is like their act of revenge to get back at you when this is what fucked it up in the first place. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying by holding on to this and keep on going back to this? This cycle is continuing because they're not changing, okay? They're not changing. They're returning and they're going to pretend like they've changed. It might be all right for all that I'm seeing is about a month but it's, or a season, okay? Because I do see all four seasons on that card, right? But it's going to dry up very quickly. 
because at the end of the day, there's some kind of grudge that this person holds against you. And it's like they want to get back at you for something. Maybe it's for walking away. Maybe it's for choosing yourself over them. Maybe whatever it is for leaving. I don't know what it is. But there's an energy of somebody realizing it's time to walk away from this. You deserve better. And them trying to come back healed. But they're not. There's an energy of them re-hurting you. Let's get a message from Spirit for the collective on this situation. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Can we get a message from Spirit on this situation? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Ooh, and they all fell on the floor. Judgment. Okay. So somebody here is facing heavy judgment for their past actions. And they're dealing with the consequences of their past actions. Okay. Um, King of Wands, take charge, born leader, wants it all, Seven of Wands, boundaries, fighting for love. So we do have this King of Wands energy, okay? And they are falling apart. Look at how this person is like half burnt, half, um, like whole, right? Like there's something seething inside of them. And I feel like this is a more of an anger because now the King of Wands is also known to be hot-headed. The King of Wands has a very eccentric nature about themselves okay um very egotistical um this is the type of person that wants their cake and to eat it too so there's a something in their ego that says like they can continue to have this one solid person and then all these other people on the side and if they do it the right way they can get away with it they can get away with it but they're not going to get away with it because with the judgment being here, they're going to come for this renewal of love, right? They're going to come for this renewal of love. But see, their past actions are going to catch up to them. And they're still going to deal with karma. See, this person got a lot of karma to pay, but they bring that karma to you, right? This person's bringing this karma to you. Somebody just can't get over the actions of the past. But this person, it's like, they're going to come in. They're going to try to take charge. They're going to act like they've changed. But this is somebody that wants their cake and to eat it too still. They're still hiding their feelings, low vibrational. They still deal with multiple people. They're holding grudges against you. Maybe because you stopped giving like you used to. I don't know. Because with the Seven of Wands, we have boundaries and fighting for love. I feel like you fought and fought and fought for this connection. You fought for this love. You gave everything you could for this love. And at the end of the day, you kept on getting shitted on. You kept on getting hurt. You kept on getting played. You kept on just feeling pain after pain, heartbreak after heartbreak. So it came to a point where somebody stopped fighting for this love. But see, I feel like you still want to. Look at the way this person has their arrow pointed at the king of wands. You know, this person is, you, I feel like you're setting up boundaries for this person. At the end of the day, if they're willing to fight, I feel like you'd be willing to fight. But nobody's going to keep giving 100% of the energy and getting zero in reciprocation, right? And so this is why this King of Wands energy is realizing they need to take charge. They need to lead. They need to and lead by example, not just say things, but they need to show it, okay? And until then, I feel like your boundaries aren't coming down, okay? I feel like they have seen how hard you have fought for this love and how much they have put you through and that they have given nothing. And so it's almost an energy of them feeling like they deserve everything that's come that's coming to, towards them or has came towards them because there is this energy, like I said, if, you know, because they feel that's all they deserve. Multiple energies that just don't really give a damn, right? But this King of Wands knows 
that they're just getting their karma for their past actions. They're receiving the consequences of the things that they have done to other people. But there's an energy of you needing to let them go through this karma and not draw them back in because you want to fight for this love. You want this love. You, you know, there's everything in your energy like wants this person. But everything in their energy is low vibrational. Fucking with multiple people. And I mean raw dogging. Couldn't, might not even have showered in between. You know, like fucked you in the morning time and snuck off and fucked somebody else. You know, like later on that evening. You see what I'm saying? Like ain't even bathed because they don't want to motherfucking make it seem like they're doing something out of character. Like that's the type of energy I'm seeing here. Especially with that, with that, um with that card double dipping okay sleeping with more than one person so their judgment is because okay so they're about to face even heavier karma and this is what's about to go down spirit come through so they're coming for this renewal of love right but they're coming in with bad intentions, holding this grudge and plotting ret retribution. See, they're going to come in like they've changed and that their chakras are balanced and in a high vibration, but secretly holding this in this revenge and this grudge against you. And so spirit is, it's like that renewal of love. They're going to, they're going to receive judgment again, like karma again, bro. I don't even think they're going to make it through your walls. Look at this person. Kind of looks like they're in a prison almost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, spirit. And there's angel wings on this person. Like, spirit's not going to let this person get to you. They're going to try to. They're going to. It's almost like they're going to try to, like, bully you out of, like, your boundaries. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And this is where... Um, I feel like you give up the fight and this is where the, the karma sets in very, very heavily on their ass. Yep. What's at the bottom? Strength. Wow. Taming emotions, overcoming obstacles. So spirit really wants you to tame your emotions. Okay. They don't want you, they want you to find the strength to be able to continue this journey. Um, it's hard to put up walls and put up boundaries and keep those boundaries in place. But um, spirit wants you to not let this person gaslight you. Um, this person needs to learn to also tame their emotions and overcome a lot of obstacles in their life. And this is something they got to work through on their own. Look, clean up. What did I say? They got a lot of shit that they got to overcome in their life that they got to clean up. Cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. Somebody got to clean this shit up. Ten of Swords, betrayal, painful ending, ending spying, gossiping. Yeah. Um, and then a surprise. But I feel like you're going to be in isolation. You know, I feel like they you're you're gonna have to find the, the strength to tame your emotions when it comes to this person because you know and i'm hearing clean up woman uh, and that's basically a song like it, about a woman who's fine with cheating with somebody else's man like if you're not doing your job well guess what i am i'm the clean up woman right um, and so I feel like there's definitely like a cleanup, whether you're a man or a woman, um, there's other energies, right? And they need to cut those karmic ties. And until they do that, you need to continue to tame your emotions and find the strength to overcome these obstacles. I feel like there's a continued betrayal. There was, there's going to be a painful ending if there hasn't already. Somebody's spying and gossiping. Okay. But at the end of the day, the two of you guys share this intellectual love, this deep spiritual love. And they know they've lost like the person that they love the most. So with this page of cups, I feel like there's an apology, maybe some kind of surprise, maybe them popping up. It says love visitor or message. So them just popping up out of the blue with some kind of surprise for you. 
or, you know, some kind of message of love towards you, just shockingly out of the blue. Yeah, but I feel this is where I feel like you're a solitude. You're doing soul searching, gonna spend some time in all isolation. Yeah, because this ultimately ripped apart, vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth, you know. You're extremely vulnerable when the, you, it came to this person. You shone your light onto this person. And in the end, what exposed the truth was love. Maybe they, you know, they were in love with somebody else or they were claiming to be. I don't know. But it ripped you apart. And so whatever they have to say, they're going to have to spy on you because it's a time of isolation and inner work for you. Okay? And isolation and inner work for them. They need to spend time alone. They need to clean up whatever the fuck this baggage is in their life. Um... Otherwise, you're going to keep going through it. You're going to keep going through it. Okay? That could be you cutting these people out. Hey, yeah, twin flame, you're toxic. That's still karmic. Even if people don't understand, they could be your twin flame, but in a karmic energy, right? Regardless, that's still your twin flame. That's the other half of your soul, but they're karmic because they're in a very karmic energy. And people don't understand that. So this could be you finding the strength to clean up this tie that you have with them. And leaving them to spy and gossip and feel betrayed. They feel maybe they're the ones that feel betrayed because there's a painful ending. And that's why they hold this grudge against you. Because you were cutting people out left and right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, make sure you comment below. Let me know. And make sure you guys like my video, okay? It sends an energetic donation towards me. Until next time, my loves. Peace.